What's up guys, Aaron Productions here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to wire up an Edwards coded pull station so that it is normally open, or basically what we usually use. Um, so, what you're going to need is going to be your alarm of choice, a relay, which I use air products and controls because I think they're the best. Um, also a screwdriver, um, this one has to be a flathead in order to be used in here. And thankfully everything that we have uses flatheads and Phillips, or you can obviously use either screwdriver, as long as you have this for that pull station, and also some wiring, as well as a 24 volts power supply. So first thing to do is to open up the pull station using your flat head. Ours is already open here. Now the first two terminals are the only things that we're going to be using today. So the first thing we have is our 24 volts input. So to make this easy, we're going to go in the back and use the first terminal. So the first terminal and the second terminal, doesn't matter which one it is, um, these are the normally closed contacts. So what you're going to do is screw your positive into the number one. You could obviously wrap it around, but this is so temporary that it doesn't matter in my case. And then we're going to take a short wire, connect it to the number two terminal. And this will go to our relay. This is the negative from our power supply. And this is the positive going through the pull station. So right now this is a complete circuit. So if we hook this up to the alarm, it would go off immediately if we plugged it in. And then if we pulled it, it would go off when it codes. So in order to get it to normally open, we're going to be using a relay. So what we're going to do is connect the positive and the negative up to their respective terminals on the relay. So the negative or zero on this relay connects right here. And then the 24 volts goes into the 24 volts terminal, or if you're just using a regular 24 volt relay, then obviously you just connect it to the positive. So an overview again in case you got lost, here is our power supply coming in. Positive goes into the number one and number two, it doesn't matter which, but just to keep it simple, go into number one with the power, um, with the positive lead, and then take a wire and go out from number two into the positive on your relay. And the negative from the power supply goes straight to the relay, doesn't have anything to do with the pull station. At this point, we can close our pull station up here and put it over there. Obviously, my relay is connected very shortly to it. Now it's time to connect it up to the alarm itself. So what we're going to need is another short jumper. In this case, I'm going to be using yellow and green wires just because that's what I have on hand. Green will be my negative and yellow will be my positive in this case. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump her straight off of the um, terminals from the relay. This is the negative coming straight from the power supply going into the relay. We're using the exact same terminal here. So then we're gonna take the positive, which is the yellow in this case, since I'm using a yellow wire, it would be red if you were using a red wire. Down here we have common, normally open and normally closed. You can tell by the CNO and NC labeling. So this labeling is for if it was normally off, which in this case is going to be normally on. So the labels are the exact opposite. So what we're going to do is go into the common, which we would always do. And we're actually going to connect this to the normally closed terminal, because like I said before, the labeling is for when it's in its off or normal state. So right now, this terminal has nothing going to it and this terminal has the connection going to it but since this will have the power flowing to it all the time that means it would be the exact opposite since the relay would be engaged meaning normally open would be closed so this terminal would be open all you need to know is connect it to the normally closed terminal and the common on the relay and then we're going to connect it to our alarm so we have the negative jumper right here straight off the power supply into the relay and then back out through the same terminal and then the positive out from the normally closed like I said before because of the way it works and then we're gonna go straight into the back of our alarm so positive like it said goes through the relay and then we're gonna connect it straight to the positive of the alarm and the negative jumper from the relay goes right in here as well and I'm just gonna put the relay so that you guys can see it because it does have an LED on there and as you can see the light came on right there meaning that the relay is engaged and as you could hear it's currently not going off because it's connected to the normally open terminal currently but if we pull this down here 
once it gets to the code. <sighs> this alarm can't handle the uh, such quick thing. Well, after much frustration, I was only able to get this alarm to work a little bit. Um, one thing I should mention is that this won't work with new alarms very well because they take a while to power up. And also, they probably are two wires, so they have a strobe that they need to discharge. It wouldn't work at all, basically. I've tried with a vibratone horn, but that didn't work too well either because it also uses a lot of current and it takes a while um, to get all started up. But I'll demonstrate this right now so you guys can see it working. The most I can get it to do is this little chirp or pop. You can see the relay turn off. That's every time it codes. What works a little bit better, but you can see visually, is a light. So, it does turn on very vaguely. Um, this kind of lets you see how short of a time that that horn had to turn on. Now, this is the method that I showed in my last video. If you guys haven't seen the review of this pulse station, make sure you check it out. You can learn a little bit more about the um, terminals and everything in case you needed that diagram. I apologize that my relays aren't that effective. This is a high quality relay. It's a little bit old. Um, but unfortunately, relay technology isn't that quick. Um, it's not as quick as a solid state on and off through chips and stuff like that. It has to physically pull the contact with an electromagnet, which, I, which obviously has to build up the current to pull it as well. But this is how you would do it if the relay was strong enough. I mean, it is strong enough to obviously get some effect. Uh, well, hopefully it wouldn't ruin your horn, but obviously use something that you know can handle it. It's got to be a little bit older. But like I said, this is exactly how you do it. Um, hopefully soon enough they'll have relay technology that's better and fast enough so they can handle this pull station. That's going to conclude this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Even if it wasn't for this, maybe you learned something about relays. Um, thanks for watching. Peace out. <laughs>